Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do a tutorial on Tropical Paradise Black One uh, in our series running from January through August. So today we are doing the first block, Black One. It is Pina Colada Pinwheel and we are doing it, it's on page two in your book. And we have, I hope you watched the previous uh, video. It is on uh, some tips on cutting and piecing and subcutting. You get a lot of information on that, especially if you're a, a relative beginner. Okay, let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take your fabric out of your bag. And for this block we have, and it tells you right in the directions here, you have your focus fabric. Remember that's sprinkled throughout the quilt. And so from our focus fabric, you're going to cut eight four inch squares. And again, refer to that on how to cut that. You're going to trim up your piece to a four inch strip, and then you're going to cross cut it to cut those beautiful, perfect four inch squares. Then from each of your other pieces of fabric, gather those out, you're going to cut just two four inch squares. Okay, I think that you've got that. Let's move on to piecing this block because it, it's a little tricky, but once you learn half square triangles, you're going to fall in love with it because there are so many quilts you can make with just a half square triangle. Uh, do take a minute to, like I said, read your newsletter that I send out, your follow-up newsletter, the uh, additional tutorial. I really wanna be supportive with this block. And if you're still confused, uh, then have a pina colada and then do a little YouTube search for a video that suits, you know, we all have different learning styles that maybe approaches you. Okay, so now we've got our directions. Let's refer to our directions in the book. And we've got our pieces and they say to match up each of your squares with a focus square. So that means I have eight, right? Four times two. And I have eight of these, so we're going to match them. So we're going to take each of these squares and just match them right sides together. Oh, I remember we've talked about that. It doesn't really matter. And of course, you'll take time and make these perfect, put a pin in them. And remember with batiks, it's whichever side you like better. Here we go. And I must have had two extra in that pile. Okay. So there we are. So now we've got them matched up. And the next step says, now you can either use a pencil if that's what you have. I prefer, if I can, to use a Frixion pen. And so I'm going to take this. You need a ruler for this one at least. I like my six and a half inch square. You know, it's small. You could use a 12 and a half, but as you can see, you've kind of run out of room. So. Let me show you how I drew that line. I layered my two pieces together. Now it says to draw the line on a focus, but my focus was so dark, my line didn't show up. So now I'm just going to take and line this up and draw that line. Hold it real tight so it doesn't kind of jam up under the ruler. All right, and Angie and I were talking, we both like to stick a pin on each side to kind of hold it nice and tight. And so there we have our pin in there. Now you're going to take this to your sewing machine. I'm gonna get right in here on it. And I kind of drew a stitching line. And you're going to stitch a quarter inch away. So just have your quarter inch foot in there. You're gonna stitch a quarter inch away from that center line. I think this is the coolest technique. Now watch. The pins keep it stable, and you're going to do this to all eight blocks. So now we've got it pieced, keep my pins in there. And now I'm going to take my ruler, put it back on that center line, and take my rotary cutter. Oh, I got it. Cut it apart. Now we talked about why you don't cut a triangle. For one thing, triangles are kind of tricky to cut. This is, I'm not gonna do it very hard, but this is really, really stretchy. I'm gonna show you the back of one of them. I like to press that seam open. So you can take in, are we close enough, Angie, to see this? So I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to finger press it open. And you know when you iron, again, um, it's called pressing, and you want an up and down motion. You don't really wanna, you know, tearing it up motion. Okay, it's being ornery. Okay, let's, 
but you want those all pressed open. And I did that on the back of all of them. I like that when you have a lot of seams meeting in the center. Let's, let's move on to this one because I think you can see it a little better. So I'm going to press all those seams open. So let's pretend like I've done that. I'm gonna do my second block now. Let's get this one. I thought it was more important that I take you through the steps on this block. All right, we're gonna pretend like these are cut open. And I love the way this comes together. Just finger press so I can get this shown to you. And uh, there's a real cool technique here on how you can make this line on it. Make that, oh, get close on that. Ah, because I wasn't always able to do that, but I, I got a secret for you here. So stay tuned. All right, so we're piecing these. We've pressed our seams open for the sake of time. I'm not fussing with that. All right, and you've got a picture of this on the cover of the book on each of your blocks there. So take this and you're going to lay it out. And it's called pinwheel because it looks just like that. And you're going to piece these. Now, how do you piece these? Think rows and then think strips, all right? So if we're going to piece this in rows, we're going to now, we've got it laid out. We're going to take this, going to take this here. And remember, this would be pressed open and you've got better things to do than watch me fight. Oh, 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 fight with the seam. Okay. All right. And when you press it, it's an up and down. And I use a pretty hot iron. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to stitch, leave a little thread chain between them. Then you're going to open them up. You still with me? We're going to open it up. And then you're going to stitch, here I think you can see this, you're going to stitch that final seam right through there. And now I want that perfect. How do I make that perfect? I can't say enough about investing in a six and a half inch square ruler. Watch what happens when I lay this ruler on each of those. It is perfect. And you want that line to go right through there. So when you're pressing these little blocks, you're going to take it like this and you're going to square these up to what size? It's going to end up a size six inch, six and a half inch block before piecing. So each of these should be three and a half. So we're gonna lay this right on here right like this and you're going to trim that block up nice and even by laying that line on there piecing it in a row do not sew these four blocks together and you're ready to go okay we're going to get uh, a few minutes we're going to come back and we're going to show you how to do the um, pineapple block see you soon <laughs> 